what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be looking at editing a full body portrait here in capture one i did mention in my previous video i did a lightroom version and i promised to make a part two where i send the image to photoshop but i also got requests in my dms that i should make a capture one version of the full portrait edit i did for lightroom and i'm going to you know creatively do one for this particular edit right this is what i came up with i don't know if you guys would love it it's way different from what i did in lightroom but I'm sure some people also like the creative direction to how you go about color grading or, you know, fully editing a portrait in Capture One. So I'm going to try. So, you know, let's just reset. I'm going to try and send it back to what you guys saw. He shot with an icon D750. I think he wrote down that under my comment section in the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video and you want to know what we did here, in Lightroom or in Lightroom about that particular video, I'm going to link it up here. I'll also leave a link down in the description box. All right, my skin. Let's turn the skin by reducing the luminance of the orange, right? And if you heard what I said earlier, then I'll leave a link down to his handle also because these shots are really amazing. I had to, you know, open it up in Capture One and rendering in Capture One is quite different from rendering in Lightroom. But before I get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always. Turn on the bell notification icon to get notified when I drop the official part to the edits I'll be doing in Photoshop. I can either be the edits from Lightroom or the edits from Capture One. You guys should let me know down in the comment section box. I think I'll pull up a poll where you choose between which one should we edit in Photoshop. So, Capture One 2022, if you haven't updated it, like I mentioned in my previous video, do update your Lightroom to the newer version and the light and the Capture One 2 to the newer version because there are some features in here that I can see that are new, like style brushes and there are a couple of features. I'm not going to go into details on that. I'll probably I'll do a video on talking about Capture One 2022, but today's video, we are all about this said edit so like i said we'll be trying to achieve this look this is where i ended up right so let me just reset and let's get right into editing this particular shot this is my favorite shot from the third shoot he did right and the first thing you need to do you know basic adjustment is to crop make sure the cropping is appropriate let me rotate it just so that it feels straight to the eye Let's see the crop. Yeah, center here, rule of thirds, and she's in the middle. Tap on enter. I'm good to go. So this is where we will start working from. Right. Let me see. If I'm to put this four by five, let me see. Um, yeah, it will still work. So I like the cropping. The very first thing I usually do when I come into Capture One is to attack my base characteristics. In Capture One, you can see that it gives you the profile, ICC profile, Nikon D750 generic, and you shot with this. And the new Capture One these days have this ICC profile called Pro Standard. This will equate to me changing the profile, the camera profiles in Lightroom to, let's say, um, Camera Vivid. But here, I think it gives you the accurate colors you probably need. I don't know what um, mode he shot in. But these are the various modes that are available. You can't find this. You don't have, you know, the various uh, camera profiles here in Capture One if you're using a Canon camera. It just gives you um, the generic and the pro standard. But with Nikon, you can see there's an Nikon flat landscape, monochrome, neutral, portrait, standard, and vivid. And I'm not going to use the vivid over here because I feel this looks too punchy compared to what we saw in Lightroom. I'm always going to use pro standard for this stuff and there i have the pro standard so next in line is i'll come to my exposure tab over here as you can see and the image looks hazy right and when it comes to haziness you use the levels to fix that issue so i'm going to introduce some blacks into it i could use the dehaze slider right to dehaze the said image right it brings back some contrast on her face I like the tones and all that. I'm not going to use the dehaze slider. I'm just going to use the level slider to manually input the values I want in there, right? So probably somewhere there's fine. 
we need to boost up the white a little bit then i'm good to go on this end next in line is to play along with the high dynamic range one thing i used to like about the capture one is their dynamic range how they can you know maintain highlight so if i should pull this and turn on my exposure warning you could see that the outfit is currently blown out which isn't a problem but if you want to bring back details the moment you pull the highlights it tackles the highlights and that is one good thing some people appreciate about you know capture one but these days i don't just because it makes the hdr look too you know fake for me and that is not what i am looking out for so um, i think i'm going to just keep it there a little bit let it let it be blown out nobody's going to look at the details in the white outfit but at least you know let me just hold alt on the keyboard it's quick before and after uh, I'm, I'm good with that open up my shadows a little bit okay? and of course i'm going to increase my contrast i need some contrast in this i'm going to add contrast here and also add contrast in the curve adjustment open up my exposure a little bit and i'm fine with that normally when i put in or when i push in the whites in the levels i usually like to bring down my brightness just so i can get you know a punchiness in the image then reduce the saturation i think this saturation is equated to vibrance in lightroom and there i have this i am going to you guys know like i said these days i am all for soft looking images not too much texture so sharpness there you go then when i come back into the exposure tab clarity then i reduce my clarity a third bit so this is what we have for the before and the after before and after this image looks great already people will probably love to leave it here but here in capture one i would want to creatively you know go further when it comes to um adjusting or um, you know editing this image here right so curves go to the luma curve instead of the rgb the rgb affects both red green blue channels together with the luminance value so like you can see over here i would just want to affect the luminance value which only tackles the lightness right so a little slight s curve didn't kill anybody right just to add some contrast in there so a quick before and after let's see before and after before and after i think i'm going to do that when i'm color grading okay so i'm going to pick up let me open up the layers tab just so that you see something pick up the style brushes this is a new feature i'm seeing in the capture one 2022 in lightroom i drew a mask just so that i could match the contrast level from below her torso to the upper part of her face or upper part of the torso so i'm going to pick up light and contrast and look for the haze or the haze remove haze i feel like there's some haze and immediately tap on it it automatically picks up the brush too you don't need to create a new layer for this then i'll paint over her legs right and i feel like the job is done let's see before and after i've brought back some contrast into her legs and her legs are matching her face now and i like it but taking a look at the face you know let's just go into uh, color but we'll come back to the face later so what we do in our color session usually helps you know um bring back some details bring back some color you guys already know when it comes to melanin skin i usually like to um bring down the luminance just to boost how dark the person is right but first off we didn't fix our white balance usually the white balance should be found somewhere here i usually like to pick off um i'm okay working with this okay back to the background let's go back to the color let me close this and that we're done with those let's see what the luminance slider does can you see what's happening you guys see what's happening so i'm going to keep it somewhere here somewhere here should be fine and i feel like 
it's more in the yellows her face is more in the yellows than the red so i'm going to pull my hue of my oranges towards this direction right now i'm gearing towards the reds then when i get into the reds i move this this should be fine and reduce the saturation let's see okay so if you take a look at the image right now her face since has since it has makeup it's more saturated than the legs or the hand region so what i would do next is to pick up a radial filter draw a mask over her face right i, I, I think the radial filter is affecting the haze slider so let's create a new empty layer rename this to face then i draw a mask over and when i hold m on the keyboard it shows that the mask is going to affect everywhere aside from the face so what we need to do is to invert the mask and open it up a little bit just so that it affects just the face turn off the mask by holding m on the keyboard come to the saturation i'm going to use the exposure saturation which correlates to vibrance in lightroom and i'm going to reduce it a tad bit all right so let's see a quick before and after can you see how we've matched the face to that of her legs so that's that uh, i think like i was saying i would like to creatively play with um the colors over here right so let's look at the greens which side of the greens are we picking okay this should be fine um if you watch the previous video i did mention he tried or uh, the main aim was a high speed sync shoot so if i have the background together with the foreground being a little bit flat um doesn't look really real or realistic for me in the sense of the high facing shoot right so i'm going to create much more separation by reducing the luminance right then if you remember i did mention the more you reduce the luminance the more you increase the saturation so you know let's just reduce the saturation then let's see how best we can play with the hue we didn't play with the hue in lightroom and that uh, that wasn't the ish all right so we can pick also that for the skin right we are here with the skin did we do a lot oh okay i think we selected a lot of greens when we're trying to figure out which greens to pick okay so hue i think the hue should be fine Right. reduce the luminance Ooh, I like what I'm seeing the luminance and reduce the saturation the hue let's say quick before and after before and after ah I like what I'm seeing so far okay next I want to creatively you know change the background like I said so create a new empty layer well it should be a new field layer because we'll be the greens let's open up the greens all right then change the hue reduce the saturation not too much and then reduce the luminance also to create a very huge separation Can you see what I'm seeing, guys? So this is the before and after. Before and after. Before and after. All right, I feel like the hue on the face. So let's come back to basic. And maybe move it towards this direction a little bit. So let's see. Before and after. Before and after. Right this is the hue green hue let's rename this to green hue then let's create a new field adjustment 
I really need to color grade it. All right, so here in the color grading tab, let's hold M on the keyboard. And let's see here. It's a filled layer, so we come to color balance because that's what we use for color grading. Usually, I play around with um, the color grading just to see what works for me. All right, so this is the midtones. This is the highlights. Um, the highlights I'll probably find myself here and reduce the saturation a little bit. All right, and with the midtones. I'm just going to warm up the mittens. This should be fine for me. Then reduce the saturation a third bit and reduce the luminance just to bring back those rich tones in her skin. All right, those brownish rich tones. Then in my shadows, I'm going to look at a bit of magenta, right? Just because I've added some cyan here in the highlights. So a bit of magenta didn't kill anybody. So there's the before and after, before and after. Then here I'll add the curves into the color grade, right? So a bit of a boost in contrast in the color grading. Then there we have our beautifully looking image, right? So this is all we've done. This is the before. This is where we started from and this is where we are at can you guys appreciate what we've done this is how i will creatively edit the said image here in capture one 2022 no, capture one 22. right so thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this particular video can you leave me a thumbs up i am so particular about leaving me a thumbs up because the more you appreciate the video by giving me a thumbs up the more youtube you know um the more it helps the algorithm on youtube to push it to people to know that oh yeah this guy is producing a better content and it's good and it's enjoyable and it's educative right so leave a comment down in the comment section box below like i said i already did the lightroom version of this so i'll probably just let me know would you want me to send the capture one version of the edit into um photoshop for our official part two or you would want to see the lightroom version in our official part too so like i said i'll leave a link up here just so that you can go and watch what i did in lightroom classic cc 2022 i'm just kidding guys all right thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe which is quite important also for me share this video to your other friends who might be interested in learning a thing or two about color grading in capture one let's see to create a cohesive edit like i did in lightroom we'll copy the adjustment move to this and take a look at that guys probably just crop the image and that's that so yeah if you enjoy this content as usual like i said please share the video i've been saying this share the video all right thank you so much for watching today's video once again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like and leave a comment on the comment section box below and I will see you in the next video. Happy peace.